Hello everyone, this video is going to be for Pisces. Haven't done a video for Pisces in a while. Just going to see what I can pull. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. Up, okay. oh, I saw the Seven of Cups. It's a lot of fantasy going on, a lot of... Um, thinking eight of cups had to leave someone behind but with the emotions okay overall energy is the fool new beginning with or without someone some of you don't know where you're going to go what you got going on where you're going to be headed but the fool is here new opportunities are coming your way you're not afraid to leave you have different things going on in your head that you want to do. You're being cautious about it. A new career, maybe. Maybe moving somewhere else. You're worried about stability, definitely. Or you're worried about if this person is stable enough for you. Pisces does represent the moon. So if I pull the moon card, that is your energy. Definitely career related. Yep. Moving on. Some of you Pisces could be dealing with the Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius because I pulled wands. Or Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. But either way, some of you are dealing with someone who is very um, routine and strict. They maybe want to move on with you, travel, change, because four pentacles, somebody's worried about stability. And meanwhile, somebody else wants to maybe move on, travel, page of wands, discover something new, discover something new with you. And I mean, the fool is the overall energy. So this is all about moving on, whether it's career wise or with someone. Feel like someone maybe wants to show you something. Yeah, definitely collaboration. Uh, I don't know why I feel like someone's maybe planning a trip, collaborating with different people. I do see the devil card here underneath seven of cups, like I was saying. So this person that you guys could be dealing with, some of you, they might have a little bit of control over your life or just a control over your thoughts because it's nothing, um, I don't want to say it's not stable. It's just maybe they're battling their own addictions or their own issues within themselves. Or they just don't understand the way you are. Okay. But this is all about career, I see. You know, this is someone who is like talking to other people, showing them things. Let's see, why is this page of pentacles here? What is this new career or goals? Six of cups. It's pure innocence. And that's where the miscommun miscommunication is coming in for some of you. Some of you feel as if maybe this person is coming in and it's with no commitment, but they want you to do all of these different things. Or they're leaving your emotions all over the place. But it's, it's innocence. This person is also thinking about the good times you guys could have or the good times you all have already had. Could have known this person for some time and what they're giving you is like a flower it's, it's pure innocence it's trying to build something knight of swords two of pentacles they're definitely rushing in as you can see his energy on the card rushing in 
thinking about with this person, what, what you guys can do or what you guys can build. Some of you Pisces, too, are just... No, I just definitely feel like some of you may be dealing with someone who comes in and out. And maybe they just want to do all of these big things with you. But there's no, like, commitment there. There's no stability or something like that. And that's why some of you are worried about it. They're coming in and they're having to manage time and adapt to new situations. And things are going a little bit rocky in the back. Because this person doesn't have a set of what they want to go or what they want to do. Pisces, this could be your energy too. Yeah. Let's see, why is this three of pentacles here? This person is very demanding. They like intellectual stuff. So you could be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Someone who likes to talk. Someone who likes to talk so much that they can kind of persuade you to do certain things. Now, I remind you, a sword cuts deep and it hurts. So when you take actions with this person, it's serious things that you're doing. The king, the king of swords knows what he wants. He's a clear thinker. He has power. I feel like this is Aries energy too. Something that's just really motivated. And then you have the knight of swords here. Which is a quick thinker. But they're smart. And this is what I mean. This person is very quick witted. They're smart. They want to do different things with you. Let's see this Six of Cups. Why is this Six of Cups here? The world. I'm sorry, Will of Fortune. So cycles of change, destiny. Some of you are definitely going through different cycles right now. And things are going to be changing, but when they change... It's going to lead you to maybe, look at this. There's the emperor. I did say this reminds me of Aries. And look at Ace of Wands, really. I just said highly motivated and it's inspired to do something. And this is Aries, the emperor. Now you see this card? These two always remind me of each other. Because it's like a man who's in power or a woman that's in power. And, you know, they're on their own throne. Okay. Ooh, what was that? All right, now. This is somebody who's thinking about the good times you guys might have had together or just in general, but they know that they're getting away with something because they have two swords already planted and they're taking all of the others. So this could be somebody that already has their career planned up. For you Pisces, this could be someone who already has someone they know that lives in that area or something that they have going on in that area. And they want you to come. They think it's kind of a game. I see a carnival in the back. This person could already have their foundation set while you're trying to get yourself together. And they want you to do all of these, these um, big things with them. Because that card jumped out my hand like, ooh, two of cups. Partnership, attraction. Yeah, okay, so that two of cups stood out to me. Because partnership is, you know, exactly what this is. Moving around with somebody, being on their page, kind of like a marriage. 
and Pisces, I feel like this is just having your emotions all over the place. Or if this is not your situation, you're just dealing with a person who is, is all over the place, has a lot of different things going on. And I'm not sure if they know. Something is going to come to an end, though. The death card, which is Scorpio. The sun is in the back. Things are going to be changing up. Somebody's putting a stop to something. And the two of wands. Um, again, a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Something you could be dealing with. Progress in discovering something. I feel like somebody, you're going to put a stop to somebody's emotions or feelings. Maybe some of you are going to have a serious conversation with them. You're going to have to. And I don't like to say this, but when the card does come up, I do have to say, um, it could be losing someone in a the family, their family or your family, because the death card is here. Doesn't necessarily mean that. It could also mean that some of you are just going to a higher level. You're going to stand your ground. As you can see, um, you know, some of you don't like that energy right there. And the hair font is right there. The person who means peace. And this is the person who's standing up. Everybody else is kind of, you know, out of the way. The baby's there. The king of cups. Scorpio's coming through. And there's your energy, the moon, Pisces. So when some of you try to do this situation, um, again, Scorpio is going to come up the middle. Two people who are on different sides, maybe bickering or arguing. And the death card, which I mean, this is what I'm pulling, the Scorpio is going to come in between them. Maybe end the situation. Or if it doesn't end the situation, you guys are going to be discovering something new. You could be dealing with people in your business. Moving along, trying to discover something, and you're leaving someone behind. You're getting some type of mental clarity out of a situation. Also, I feel like this person is getting some mental clarity, too. They're starting to realize this is not the right thing to do. Because something is going to happen here that is a major change, okay? Death represents a powerful change. And whatever this change is that they're going to discover is, I see the Ace of Cups. It's going to have them realize that they need to go through a mental transition, a mental shift. So let's see this Seven of Swords. Who got away with something? The High Priestess. Some of you could have known this situation for a while. Focused on yourself, self-love, getting your pinnacles back in order, worried about your finance and material things. Some of you might be having some money come in. Definitely, definitely changing. Splurging on yourself. There's a devil card. So, okay. Death and the devil. Two major arcanas. This represents Capricorn. Scorpio, the death card is coming in and changing something up because someone was either addicted to something that they had going on or the energy just itself was not too good. They were tied to someone else. Felt like that you all were tied together and nothing was prospering. But... Justice and Queen of Wands. Understanding cause and effect. I don't know why I feel like someone was trying to get away from something or someone. 
And this represents um, Capricorn energy. Might have a different partner. Some of you um, might be realizing that. Also feel like, because here's Five of Swords again. King of Cups. Someone at a distance with their love. Four of Wands. Celebrating something with someone else. Or something. Someone might be going to sue a celebration or something. And you might be finding out something. Yeah. So whatever the situation is, it's going to cause some of you. I see the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Again, this is Capricorn, Capricorn. But some of you are going to say no to this. You're going to stand up to it. You're going to tell somebody off. You're just not going to be here for it. six of wands and it's going to leave that person hurt also feeling like some trauma maybe feeling like things were going good and now they're not five of swords is here lost feeling alone insecurity underneath this mental clarity so either you told someone to kick rocks because of how their energy was or something but some of you pisces might have to leave someone behind for the better. Okay, I see the Queen of Wands. Vibrant. Someone who knows herself. You know, and the funny thing is, I kept saying, I feel like this person is all about their selves. And I didn't pull, I think, one cup one time. And Pisces, cup is your energy. So this definitely tells me someone was either coming in and just maybe using you for your time or, or whatever some of you had. And it's going to leave them feeling hurt. Egos are going to be dropped. And it's back to someone feeling self-assured and right back to the fool. So the only cup I pulled was a two of, I think I pulled a two of cups. Did I pull that? Or did I flip over? I'm not even too sure. But I definitely feel like it's just some type of partnership and attraction and nothing else to it. A lot of big changes are moving around or a lot of big things that's being asked, but it's no like commitment or anything. And I see someone here by herself just moving on. So this was your reading Pisces. Um, if you would like a private reading, the link will be in the description box below. And thank you for watching.